Born on October 2nd, 1869 in Porbandar, India, Mohandas Karminchand Gandhi, or Mahatma Gandhi, was one of the most influential people of all time. Usually seen wearing a shawl or robe, Gandhi became known as a spiritual figure who taught many principles including service, but especially emphasized nonviolence. Gandhi led a major nonviolent protest, the Salt March, in which British salt taxes were protested against nonviolently by illegally producing salt in a city called Dandi by filtering salt water from the sea. Indian citizens marched a stunning 240 miles to Dandi, recruiting others along the way. The Salt March was just one of the protests that displayed nonviolence. Gandhi's ideas were so motivational, they inspired more modern-day figures we know well, such as Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, and John Lennon. Gandhi's teachings spurred a chain reaction of the same message being taught by people who were famous. This helped spread these ideas so they became standards and morals, shaping American culture into what it is today. Born in 1929, Martin Luther King Jr. fought against racial prejudice and was a major leader of the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s. King stated periodically that his ideas started from Gandhi's, with his own beliefs incorporated into them. One action that made King well known was the Montgomery bus boycott. This boycott started with a woman named Rosa Parks. Parks was riding the bus home, and being a black, she was forced to sit in a section separate from whites. She was exhausted from her day's work. At one bus stop, all the white-only seats were full, so a white man was without a seat. The bus driver vehemently requested Parks to stand so the white man could sit. Fed up with discrimination, Parks refused and eventually was arrested. This act inspired the civil rights movement to start the Montgomery bus boycott. In this boycott, blacks negated riding city buses using another option, walking. This protest nonviolently strained against unfair laws. This boycott lasted a giant amount of 381 days. That's over a whole year. At first, whites were annoyed, but began to have fear. Over this time period, the bus company became flustered with the problem of lost funds and the ever-looming possibility of bankruptcy. Eventually, the bus company gave in and buses were desegregated. In this instance, King not only used his ability to rally together the civil rights movement, but started something that was just the beginning of a legacy to be known for time to come. Another of King's achievements that brought attention to him was his speech, I Have a Dream spoken at the March on Washington, where musical performances and speeches were presented to support the Civil Rights Movement. Martin Luther King Jr. was the last speaker. After stating part of his written speech, a lady called from the crowd, Tell them about the dream. From there on, the speech was improvised, giving it the exceptional persuasiveness it had and still has today. I have a dream. That one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Nelson Mandela was also a respected figure who fought for human rights. Mandela's native country, South Africa, was ruled by white people exclusively. Mandela protested this and attempted to overthrow the white government. His attempt thwarted, Mandela spent 27 years in jail. After his release, he still pushed his movement along, and eventually, racial equality was granted when Nelson Mandela became the first black president of South Africa in 1994. Before Nelson Mandela protested the government, he joined the ANC, or the African National Congress. This organization taught and still teaches that every person should have equal rights. Mandela was caught up in its teachings and acted on them, winding him up in prison. When he was released 27 years later, Mandela became the president of ANC. 
While Mandela was in prison, citizens protested and demanded his release. Crowds had realized that Mandela was trying to improve everybody's lifestyles and promote racial equality and stop prejudice and discrimination. One of Nelson Mandela's most famous and inspiring speeches is the first speech he gave after he was released from prison. Without your support, our struggle would not have reached this advanced stage. The sacrifice of the frontline states will be remembered by South Africans forever. Today, the majority of South Africans, black and white, recognize that apartheid has no future. Nelson Mandela's most commonly known and important achievements were surviving prison for 27 years, becoming president of ANC, and becoming the first black president of South Africa. Nelson Mandela was a great example of how problems can be solved nonviolently, and that equality is an essential need for any person, no matter their differences. Another person who contributed vitally to spreading the ideas of nonviolence and peace is John Lennon. Lennon was born in Liverpool, England, and rose to become an English singing star. He helped start his first band, The Quarrymen, which over time transferred to the commonly known band, The Beatles. Lennon played the guitar as well as sang. Being the eldest of the band, he was an inspiration to the younger band members, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. The band was a huge success, having multiple top 100 hits, including Please Please Me and Hey Jude. And anytime you feel the pain, Hey Jude, refrain. Don't carry the world up on your shoulder. They were also put in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Lennon had problems with LSD, which later added to his confusion, leading to the disbandment of the band. Lennon's leave was agreed to be discreet while the recording contract was negotiated, but McCartney released his debut solo album, which contained ideas that Lennon had come up with. While separated from the band, Lennon released many singles and had 25 number one singles on the U.S. Hot 100 chart, and eventually was put into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, as well as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a single artist. The Rolling Stone magazine ranked John as the fifth greatest singer of all time. John was known for his songs about peace and love, which was shown in his song he contributed to while in the Beatles called All You Need Is Love. as well as Give Peace a Chance. Lennon supported the anti-Vietnam War movement, often saying, Give Peace a Chance. He attended rallies for peace and supported anti-war movement however he could. John Lennon inspired others through music and started promoting peace in modern-day societies. His influence helped convince others that peace was a better option than violence, just as Gandhi would teach. All these modern-day figures helped shape our society by peaceful means to ensure equal rights, among other things. Each individual contributed to something that has led American society to who we are and what we have become.